Hey everybody! Welcome to the first official week of distance learning. Um, so we are about to start our unit on Nadine Gordimer's Jump and Other Stories. This is an amazing book. Nadine Gordimer is a master craftswoman and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about her and to find out what you think. I find that this book um, in particular leads to such great independent analysis and really individual interpretation. So I think it's a great one conveniently to have for our distance learning. Now, yes, I said it is a book, but it's actually a series of short stories. And we are going to be giving you the PDFs of the stories on Schoology. If you want hard copies, you can always print them. But other than that, you'll just see them. We'll be doing about a story a week, and we'll be doing some activities with that story. And we won't be reading the entire book, we'll just be reading some of the stories from the text. So before we get to that, before we even start reading, I think it's really important, especially for this text, to understand the context in which Nadine Gordimer is writing. She's writing during the apartheid in South Africa, and so I know some of you know a lot about this, some of you know a little about this, and so I want to make sure that we all kind of start on an even playing field. So what you're going to do is you are going to click on the link on Schoology and it's going to take you to this web quest right here. So in under the home button you'll see this and if you don't scroll down it looks like there's nothing to it. But once you scroll down it gives you a little description, it gives you some signs from the era, and then it talks about um, these essential questions. So this is what we're looking at. What was apartheid? What role did Nelson Mandela play at the end of apartheid? That's what we're looking at. So then you're going to go up and you're going to click on task. And under task, you'll see two things. So the first is this video question. So there's a file to download and the questions right here. When you click on it, you'll see um, there are four different videos for you to watch. And then you're going to answer those questions and then submit those questions. The second task that you'll be able to download is um, a choice board. And so the choice board looks like this, this extension menu. You'll see that there are lots of different options for you, eight different things that you could possibly do. And you're going to pick one of these things. So you choose which one seems the most interesting to you. So after you pick your one, then you are going to go on the choice assignment websites that you can find there or up here. So let's say I want to do number four. I click on that. So it talks about African National Congress. There's these links, these vid these images. And then um, if you click here, it's going to take you to a website that is going to um, explain to you what exactly you need. And if it doesn't, if you don't have enough information, you guys have computers right at your fingertips. So you can feel free to Google more than that. So if I say I want to do um, try seven, you can see there's lots of different things, the collage, okay? So you will then submit that as well. Also this week, you are going to find a link to interviews with Nadine Gordimer, so you can kind of see what she has to say, and um, you'll have a few questions to answer about that. So that's our plan for the week. Um, as always, there's that ACT practice. If you're bored and you need something else to do, you can find that on Schoology as well. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys soon. We'll set up a Zoom. I'll let you know when that's coming. In the meantime, have fun, stay safe, be happy, and make smart choices.